Hi, good afternoon everyone and welcome to this Excitec webinar on why is the BIM manager interested in email management. My name's Emma and I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to this webinar before handing you over to Lewis and Rhys who will be giving today's presentation. Just a quick introduction to who Excitec are. Oh, to begin with, we will be recording today's webinar and this will be available on the Excitec website. Um, you have to log in to view this, which it can easily be done through the website, and the link is on our screen there. We will be taking questions today, and we'll get to them at the end of the presentation. You can just type them in on the side in the questions or the chat box, and we'll get back to you at the end. We'll just read them out. So those who aren't um, Excitec customers, just to give you a quick introduction to who we are, we're a design technology solutions provider, and we're an Autodesk Platinum partner in the UK. Um, we're accredited with an ISO 9001 2008 accreditation and a ticket accreditation since 1993 and we have over 90 staff um, based throughout the UK. So just to give you a quick introduction who today's speakers are, we've got Lewis Wenman from Pascoe and Watson and we've got Rhys Lewis from Arup who will be giving today's presentations. I'm going to hand over now to Lewis. Okay, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, my name's Lewis Wemmond, I'm Associate BIM Manager at Pascal Watson. I've got over 20 years experience in the construction industry and over 19 years experience related to BIM and I have a real passion for data management so that's why I'm here speaking today. Just to give you some more background um, who Pascal Watson are, um, architectural practice with a head office based in, in London but we have um, offices in Dublin, Limerick, Abu Dhabi. We're predominantly known for the aviation sector where our rivaled experience in the sector but also have good uh, experience and uh, in rail education, commercial leisure, and residential and healthcare. So today is um, uh, why is the BIM manager interested in email? Um, Everyone thinks the BIM manager is more just happy playing with their 3D models and talking about drawing standards and, and production. For me, um, the important factor about BIM is uh, the iron BIM, the information. And well, I'm really concerned about where all our data sets are and how these data sets communicate uh, with each other. So where we was looking at one of our key data sets is the emails and we needed to look where this sits within inside our internal uh, process within the company. So the key driver for this was um, the PASS 1192 which is um, published earlier this year for, from uh, the UK government and it's looking at an aim of reducing um, costs for by up to 20% in 2016. So it's a publicly um, available specification that was published in February and the key areas within this documentation you know about documentation and non-graphical data so it's not just about a 3D model. So within this which is really clear for us at Pascal's we need, really need to, to redefine our processes, processes and sort of inc incorporate um, management for our documentation. So if you look within the passage just a bit, a bit closely that you can see that's very core to it is BS1192-2007 which is a common data environment. So that was a basis for us for um, realigning our processes. So starting point for us was actually looking at our, our project folders, coming up with a naming uh, convention and a structure so that they are going to be able to be searchable later on. So within our project environment for each of our projects, there is a folder for each of the different software applications that we use, project management files, and you can see right at the top of the list there is a 00 email, which I'll go into later on. But key within all our main data sets, you see there is the four distinct areas of um, the common data environment. So when we was looking for our key drivers of why we should be looking at uh, our email, it, all our electronic data storage uh, is a legal requirement that this uh, data is auditable. The data storage on our, our exchange server is continuously filling up and it's very expensive to increase the size of that um, 
uh, uh, storage space. One of the key reasons why I had that data space uh, we're filling up quite often was the duplication of files. And of course, um, more uh, duplication of files, the speed of access to it was slowing down and actually searching for the emails was getting a lot slower. So it depends on how your systems are set up within your regional offices, where each of our offices were running independently, but we're sharing the exchange. Actually, the remote offices were actually getting slower and slower in, in, in time of searching for their emails.